Well, hello, I'm Kat. No. <laughs> well, that's one thing. Weddings should have name tags. <laughs> so you know who's who. They should definitely they not have name tags. They should never Let's have name tags. Let's try this again. Welcome to Let Them Eat Cake with Kat. And Joe. Unfortunately though, the title doesn't reflect what we want to do, which is let us eat cake. Yeah, we're gonna let you eat cake. Let you eat cake. And the cake of the day is things that have to be had at a wedding. Must-haves for your wedding day. A for sure must-have in any wedding is food and beverage. You'd think it's a given, except that weddings can be very expensive, so people might say, oh, we don't need a starter. We don't need we past don't appetizers. Right. Right. You right. need food. You need food, and you need a bunch of booze. You need a lot of food, and a lot of booze. Right. But there are ways to get creative, maybe not a full open bar, you could just do beer and wine. I don't think a cash bar is very cute, but you gotta do what you gotta do. What do you about a heavy hors d'oeuvres? Have you heard, I love a cocktail style party. Me too. This is the thing, get out of the mindset of I must have a plate at dinner and get creative. What about a pizza party wedding? I would go to a pizza party wedding. How about cereal? Cereal's a stretch. Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, everybody loves cereal, but like in a tux eating Sorry. cereal. Everybody loves cereal. Full stop. <laughs> Let them eat cereal. Let them eat cereal. A lot of people have champagne taste with beer budgets. Go mm. fancy where you can and then, you know, be, be and reasonable. Then cereal. <laughs> to have a seating chart. Or not to have a seating chart. This girl would say, don't do it. Absolutely, you need a seating chart. Of course you would think that. You don't have to do assigned seats, but you definitely have to assign a table. Here's the thing, especially if you had a round table, what if we just don't have anything to talk Make about? Make a new friend. Oh boy. Socialize. Okay. You look beautiful. What's Thanks. your name? I'm Joe. I'm done with you. Moving on. <laughs> From a planning perspective, it's a disaster if guests are picking their <laughs> own seat. I mean, uh, imagine a wedding with 200 people. Cocktail hour ends, they open the doors, find your seat, sit anywhere you want. Right. I mean, come no, on. It's a crush. It's There's okay. 25 tables and you're like, duh, 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 where do I go? Um, mm -hmm. so this is my boyfriend's seat, actually. Sorry, you can't sit here. I think here. you're mistaken. Oh no, but see his name. Sorry, my uh, husband of many years was gonna sit here. Huh? Got Can I get a salad? Yeah, salad? Oh please, you haven't eaten a salad since the 80s. <laughs> Breadsticks? You're right, this could get awkward. Cereal. Very, uh, Where's the cereal? Okay. Where's the what? cereal? Right, you don't want the mosh pit wedding, so actually it's a kindness to your guests. It's absolutely a kind, it's a courtesy to your guests to at least give them an assigned table. You should have hot ushers. If you really always, want to be nice to your guests, always. have hot, may, may I take you to your seat? Take please. me anywhere you want. <laughs> Actually, something I learned about when we got into the wedding business was uh, run of show. I think it's you start with the order. How do you want the night to flow? And then from there, how much time does each thing take? And you work backwards to come up with your start time. And be realistic. This is where you hire a somebody to say to totally. you. Totally. You Listen, need the you professional right. experience. You think it's going to take two minutes, it actually takes it actually 200 takes minutes. It takes 15. Right. I'm going to be sure to ask my caterer, how much time is it really going to take you to pour wine, take orders, and serve a salad? If they say five minutes, <laughs> it's not happening. Nothing happens in five minutes. Mm. Well. Yeah, something. Another, that's another show. That's a whole other show. To your point, have a timeline that's succinct. By the minute, minute by minute. But, but don't be precious about it. Be flexible. Life happens, people happen, it's a wedding. You've already paid the money, you might as well enjoy it. To demonstrate what we're talking about, we're gonna sit here now and just look at you for an hour. I can't do it, I have to talk. Why are we doing this? 